Hey church, my name is Tim and I wanted to share a story with you of generosity. Generosity is a way that God has used to grow and mature me over the years. So I wanted to start by sharing a Bible passage with you and this is the story of the widow's offering. This is Luke 21. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow putting in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had. This is a story that has so many biblical principles in it, and it really brings us back even to this sanctuary. Here we are standing in this beautiful sanctuary. I look at these amazing stained glass windows and how the light comes in. And then I look upward and you see these big timbers that go up in this architecture that is so awe-inspiring. We come into this every Sunday and it's an inspiring place to worship God. For me and my team also, it's a place that has been challenging if I'm really honest. Upgrading this place into somewhere that we could worship has actually been very challenging. So there's been a lot of technical needs, a lot of production needs that have gone on behind the scenes. Here we are in this beautiful space, yet it's been challenging all the same. So I wanted to share another story with you that recently God brought me and a team from New North onto a missions trip and we went to Italy. And it's just so interesting because as we were being called to Italy, we're actually being called to serve in a way that is actually a need here. God was asking me and our team to serve in an area of great need for them. And that was actually in their needs from production and technology and allowing them to worship in this space. So isn't it interesting that God would ask me to go and help a church in an area of great need where I also have? So really that's the same spiritual principle at work, that we would be called to serve in an area, not out of our abundance, not out of the areas where we have all that we need, but actually out of areas where we don't have surplus. So my challenge and my question to you is, where is God calling you to serve today? Not out of your abundance, but out of your need. I think of some simple things like, if you're lonely or in a lonely place, God might call you to go be a friend to somebody. Also, I, I could think of if you're downhearted, if life has thrown some things your way, God might be calling you to go be the most amazing, best encourager that you could ever be. You see, that's how the kingdom works. We're called to serve sometimes out of the areas of great need that we have. Think of generosity more as a heart posture than anything else. Because according to this story, that's actually how God is looking at us. He's looking at our hearts more than anything else. So I wanna encourage you today. God will meet you and he'll meet us at the very edge of the place where we're in need. Generosity, obviously it's a heart posture thing as we've read in this story. Giving out of our need ultimately turns our hearts upward toward him.